What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video and to another episode of Review Roundup. If you're not familiar with what this series of videos is, it's essentially just my typical reviews here on the channel. But I cram together two or three different movies or things and just kind of talk about them all in one video in a bit of a shorter way, or at least that's always the intention. And sometimes I end up rambling longer than I intend to. But today, I think I will definitely keep this a shorter video because I'm talking about two short films. So I don't have an abundance to say on these films overall since they are not feature length films uh, but I did want to talk about them here on the channel for various reasons and so let's go ahead and jump straight into the first one and that is a review for the movie called Sarah the upcoming new film from my buddy Tajaya from his channel Blacktastic Media a little bit over a year ago I got the chance to check out his other film The Comforter that he allowed me to watch early and do a review for and so in a similar fashion I'm doing the same thing here so Sarah is his upcoming film it comes out on the 28th of October so definitely keep your eyes out open for that and um, yeah I'll definitely be leaving the link to Blacktastic Media's channel down below in the description box so you guys can go over there subscribe to his channel and get ready for Sarah to drop on the 28th of October so yeah what I will say about this film similar to what I had to say about The Comforter was it's just so awesome to see a friend of mine putting together a short film the film clocks in around 50 minutes all together so you know it's not a feature length but it's you know a short film but not too short at the same time and and uh, yeah, once again, I just have to commend my buddy uh, Tajaya for really going out there and making this movie and doing a short film all together. Uh, some of the conversations I had with him, he pretty much let me know that he had a lot of complications making this movie due to uh, the pandemic and a lot of things that kind of consistently were hindering him and putting him back. So the fact that the film is finally coming out and that it's already been put together is awesome. And I just really want to commend Tajaya uh, for the work that he put into this and the creativity that he brought to it. Uh, definitely some cool creepy imagery in this film and I think without a doubt the part that I really thoroughly enjoyed the most uh, was the use of music there's some really cool tense music throughout the course of the film some very eerie creepy music and I feel like it definitely elevated a lot of these moments now with that said even though Tajaya is a great friend of mine I do want to be honest about some of my criticisms and I would say the biggest criticism I have of this film is that it is a bit slow at times and similar to my thoughts on the comforter uh, Blacktastic tends to use uh, a lot of still images with music to tell his stories at times and a lot of times I enjoy it, but sometimes it does slow the pacing down just enough for me to say I am a little bit bored. But with that said, this is a film that was made on a limited budget and he pretty much had to work around the pandemic and do a lot of this on his own. So as a friend of mine, I just am incredibly excited to see him being able to be creative, do cool, fun things there on his YouTube channel, like this short film and uh, get other people involved and uh, just engaged in all of that. So yeah, Sarah comes out on October 28th on Blacktastic media's youtube channel again the link will be right there in the description box so please go give them some love and uh if you've already seen the film maybe blacktastic let you see it early or you're watching this way after the fact and you've already seen it what did you think about sarah and uh, are you excited as i am for the future of blacktastic media what i will say is despite any criticisms i may have about some slow elements or some things like the the lack of a budget really kind of showing at times i think ultimately what i always take away from blacktastic's films is when it comes to his concepts, when it comes to his camera work, when it comes to the way he edits his videos together, I just always see the grand potential for him to really create something insanely crazy were he ever given the opportunity to have a much bigger budget, a cinematographer, and a cast and crew that he can, you know, direct. I feel like he'd be able to do really, really cool things. And yeah, since this is a short film and it's not out already, I don't want to say too much more about this movie without getting into spoilers. So a big thanks to my buddy Black fantastic media for giving me the chance to check this out early and again the link to his channel is down below in the description box go give him some love and with that said let's move into my next review and that is for another short film this one clocking in at about 15 minutes called brides of jesus now I actually had a guy come over and comment on one of my videos, you know, probably a good few months ago at this point, and his name is Steven Michael Martin. And yeah, you know, he commented on a couple of my videos, giving me some love, and ultimately asked me if I took requests. And I said, yeah, I do take requests. Obviously this took me a lot longer uh, to get to than initially intended. I just got so caught up with collabs, and I'm still super behind on collabs for my channel and for other people's channels, and then there's the new movies coming out, and then random kind of spur of the moment events that I also want to film for. 
for and new TV shows and it's just it's never ending at least it keeps me motivated to continue putting out videos but uh yeah Brides of Jesus is a 15 minute short film that you can find on YouTube I'll actually leave in the case of Brides of Jesus I'll leave the link to the direct YouTube video that I watched down below uh, apparently it did win some awards and uh, after actually you know we're not watching the film for very long uh, the short film I did realize that this guy who actually uh, asked me to review the film uh, Stephen Michael Martin is actually uh, a character in this movie he plays the drummer of this film because at the beginning of this movie we're introduced to a young lady who's a nun in training even though that has nothing to do with this at all in any way shape or form like it's literally irrelevant to this short film um, but yeah she's a nun in training and she has an audition with this rock band and I struggle I struggled at first with this because the acting isn't phenomenal and there was definitely this element of them just trying to be super edgy. As somebody who grew up in rock bands and played in a rock band, a metal band, for the first few years of my life outside of high school and was doing that all the time, hanging out at clubs and different venues with bands of all kinds, old and young. Yeah, you know, that super edgelord vibe, you see it from time to time, but you don't see it that often really in the music community. So to see it in this short film, I just watched it a moment ago. Um, yeah, it was a little bit cheesy and corny, took me out of it just a little bit. But beyond that, the basic idea is that this girl goes there and she shows this band a song that idea that she has, and then as the short film progresses we're just seeing that song kind of given layers and kind of becoming a song what was initially kind of this just like uh, kind of like awkward kind of like playing a song for these people that you don't know eventually turns into a music video essentially and that's essentially what this movie is is this short film is just a glorified music video with that said i enjoyed the music and as a fan of rock and roll i thought it was pretty cool i didn't really go crazy for the performances and the characters and that very edge lord kind of feel and vibe that i think the movie was going for it did kind of create a bit of a cringy feel for me um, and it was only 15 minutes long so by the time the song is over it's pretty much over and so this is in a lot of ways a glorified music video but I did think it was pretty cool it was well shot well edited well put together and yeah that's gonna be my thoughts on Brides of Jesus and Sarah so again a big thanks to my buddy Blacktastic Media for allowing me to check out his short film uh, Sarah a little bit early it drops on his channel on October 28th so please go give him some love let him know I sent you and for Brides of Jesus again I'll leave the link down below in the description box so you guys can just go ahead and check out the 15-minute short film Brides of Jesus. And a big thanks to Stephen Michael Martin for reaching out to me and asking me to do this as a request, even though it did take me quite some time. I do apologize for that, uh, but... You know, hopefully you enjoyed uh, hearing my thoughts on your short film, and it's cool that you were in it. I will say, your drumming was tight, it sounded good, it looked good, and uh, yeah, beyond just like the overall edge lord feel and vibe that I feel the movie had at times, uh, I did think it was like a pretty cool glorified music video kind of short film kind of thing, so... Yeah, a big thanks to you guys for watching. If you guys are interested in any of these, again, the links to those original places where you guys can go and check it out eventually with Blacktastic Movie and with Brides of Jesus, which is already out, uh, are going to be down below in the description box. I feel like I've rambled that a couple times. And with that said, I will leave you guys now. Bye-bye.